You're messing with me, right? No. What do you mean? He didn't... This isn't anything. This is just two huge piles of fat. That's not a dish. Over these last two days, Uzbekistan has already proven to be one epic food adventure destination. This is a horse milk. Fermented horse milk. From giant plov to mountain sheep to donkey racing. I beat that donkey fair and square, by the way. Today we're on an Uzbek street food mission. Oh, <laughs> I guess I just ordered one. The scent of these foods could grab you and pull you in from a mile away. A permanent cloud of meaty smoke in the air. From freshly roasted meats. This is kind of like the local Uzbek hot dog, I'm told. And tossing myself into a giant bread oven. Okay, ready? You believe in me? To foods that make you say, Yamuna, mamuna, hamuna. So count your sheep and grab a friend. Today we're going big in Uzbekistan. everybody welcome to the sunny and big cruise show this morning we are in tashkent in uzbekistan in front of one of the most awesome bazaars they have here bazaar means markets but there are some bizarre bazaars but we can talk about it later there's an old saying which says if you want to really see the country or the city you have to check out the bazaar mm. which is perfect representative of that community hey i tell you what to do. We've reached the food section right here. A la hospitable guys, different type of fruits. But right now it's a season of persimmon and pomegranate. I don't know that I've ever eaten a persimmon. So we just asked somebody, he went like this, and that means like, go ahead, you yeah, can have ahead. it. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Okay. Mmm, nice. Rich, sweet. The inside is very mealy, like an apple that's a little bit old. What's happening over here? She's putting oh, smoke? Yeah. yeah, you have to smell it. We call <clears throat> it sarok. Is it's it? good for your health. It kind of kills the bacteria. At the same time, it's like an old ancient history and they kind of remove the bad demons and make your sail good kind of thing. She's a ghostbuster. <laughs> All kinds of spices, seasonings, nuts. Fruits, pistachios, nuts. Oh. He wants to, to try it. It's a freebie, oh. no problem. Sure. He's showing how easy to open. This is an almond and these are grown in this area? Yeah, definitely. That's a good almond. I feel like royalty when I eat this kind of food. Oh yeah, the great thing about that, it's not just for us because we're, you know, we're foreigners and it's for everybody. Whoever wants to try, they, they are free to try. We're not getting special treatment. No, no, no. It would be nice if we could get some special treatment. Can we arrange something? Yeah. Okay, cool. Which bazaar is this? Chorsu. This is the oldest bazaar in a town. This one is awesome. It's like a 1,000 years old, the location. This used to be a downtown of the city. This place is massive. Crazy action in here, noise, yeah, there's yeah. like a rumble. Chaotic. Is there food we can eat here too? Definitely. Let's go check it out. We're in the largest bazaar in Tashkent and behind us a huge meat section, very prevalent with beef and there's sheep here too, mutton. Here they have whole sheeps just hanging up. Maybe I'll buy a sheep. Hello, do we need to censor this whole? <laughs> He's cutting off that leg. Did someone yeah, order yeah, some leg? Yeah. Doesn't matter. If you need 100 grams of this place particular, they sell it. Now I've heard the sheep also called Dumba, but what is Dumba? Dumba is this place, yeah, there ah, you go. This is the Dumba. It's like the derriere, the the booty, that's a really prized part of it, right? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. fat goes into cooking all kinds of things. All here. kind of things. We talk about the plof, we talking yeah. about the kebabs. Oh, hey. He misses his girlfriend, he says. You thought that Dumba butt was good. Uh, check out down here, there's a picture of a horse. I can only imagine that that is horse hanging up right there. Horse? Ah. Mm. The horse meat is super dark, these giant cuts. This is all horse meat. Here's some big livers. And then, is this a horse foot? No, it's no, a cow. No, no, it's a cow. We're out of the horse stable. We're into the cow patch. Here they have a, a huge tongues. Cow. Cow huge. tongues. Next to them, they have a cow tails. This is a marrow. Wow, so even just the bones being sold for soup? Yes, we, it's not only for soup. We boil them. Gelatin of the, from the bone and everything yeah. comes out and mm. we eat it as well. I appreciate seeing just every part of the animal yeah. being used, not going to waste. When they know how to take a tongue, a tail, some dumba and make that into delicious food. We're talking about some serious chefs then. Oh, the smell. We are outside of the bread baking area. Mother, yeah. mother, mother sheep is calling us. So let's go say hello to mother sheep. 
Right here they've got these huge, is this a tandoor? It's a tandoor. Should I crawl in there? Yeah, yeah. crawl in Get there. warm? Oh God, they got the bread up on the wall here. Here we can see the process. He's got the dough, he's gonna flatten it out. Always there's kind of a flat part in the middle. And they do this stamping in the middle, otherwise the bread's gonna get like really fluffy. So he's gonna show you how to do it. So you flatten it up like that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I know how to do that. I do that on the Doomba every night. Press down, get your yeah, fingers great, really yeah. in there. And then they've got this thing. It is like for fixing a car or something. I think he's putting some kind of dairy on here. It's hard to see. It's a white secret sauce. They won't tell us what it is. And then the seed. Sesame seed. He hits it against his little pillow here. He stepped inside, basically. Can I tell you something yeah. that I've learned in my travels? It's obvious that he is the one preparing, and he is the one who's always working with the oven. Do you know how I know that? He doesn't have any hair on his arms. <laughs> <laughs> I've been invited to put the bread inside. Literally need to step into an oven. Okay, ready? You believe in me? Yeah, давай. Go. Oh. Do I still have hair? I didn't go so, deep enough. Once they take it out, they yeah. toss it over here. Can we eat one of these? Yeah. So it is so fresh. It's a little hot. Oh, yeah. Please. He helps. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> a little bit. Ha! Do you need some cold water? <laughs> I believe so. So fresh, crispy on the outside, a little bit doughy on the inside. Cheers. Cheers. And this is the one, the one you did. It looks pretty good. This is so delicious. Simple, fluffy, crunchy bread. Oh, this place is magical. And the one you did Hello. for sale. The bread you made is going to be sold to some super lucky guy. Probably they're going to sell it on Amazon or eBay. Uh huh. It's on side bread. They're not going to be making much money. We have made it to the food section of this whole huge complex. So much cooking happening behind us that there's a, a permanent cloud of smoke, of meaty smoke in the air. It's awesome. We are expecting really different kind of food. With like I think more than 50 different variations of uh, street food. This place is very well known among locals, so even for weddings, different ceremonies. If they have a huge party at home, usually our parties are really, really big, like 50, 70 people. It's really hard to cook at home. So what you do, boom, you come to Chorsu Market, you buy it, you go. But also yes. you can just grab a snack. No, no problems. Oh, I smell mutton already. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Already, my heart is stolen. Here we have some kebabs. Yeah, it's a beef. He has a lamb variation as well. Ah, those are nice kebabs. I like someone who's just proud of their kebabs, you know? It is another version, like a hot dog style. They put it into local bread. And, and we can eat it while standing. Yeah. He just put on two lamb skewers right here. This is kind of like the local Uzbek hot dog, I'm told. The bread that we just saw, how they make it in the giant tandoor, cutting it down the middle. Oh, he's gonna put it in a plastic bag. He's gonna take the skewer, Stick it, the whole thing inside that bread pocket. Onion, a little bit of vinegar, chili powder, spritz. Rahmat. 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 Thank you. Let's get a nice close-up shot of this. The meat's kind of disappeared, but trust me, it is in there. Onion, chili powder. Bread is still pretty soft. Yeah, yeah, it's fresh. Some people were ordering two meats for one bread. If I had a guide, that would fill me in on those types of nuances. I would have gotten that for sure. Yeah, unfortunately, this is not the case. <laughs> this is not the case at all. You ready? Ready. Mm. Oh, super good. That is delicious. Savory and sour. That vinegar is a lovely touch on there. Kebab without vinegar is not a kebab. And the bread is still very chewy, just ripping right off. I mean, this is street food, man. Mazu. Mazda. And he's filming us. At his own vlog. He's a bit of a food blogger too. Listen, if you're smart, you come here, you get two meats in one pocket. Mm, you slaughtered that. When is the last time you had one of those? When is the last time you ate, period? Are you okay? It's so delicious. As we move down, even more options here. More action. A lady wondering what I'm doing. Hello. My instincts tell me we stumbled into the horse section. Yes. This one called Noran. This is very traditional Tashkent food available only in Tashkent. Right now, she's putting on some, what I presume to be a horse sausage and then onion on the side. A little bit. Pepper. Oh, Rahmat. Yes, thank you. Rahmat. Ma'am, how long have you been making this? She's doing this job since she is six years old. I'm not going to ask how old she is now. It's <laughs> yeah, a good question. It's kind of like doughy strands, yeah. right? They cook it, they boil it in the water, then take it off and they cut it. This one over here is the soup of the meat. So the meat from here was boiled. So like a horse stock. Usually not eaten again by hand. So you just create a bubble like that. Hey, check this out, ma'am. Yeah, this is nice. She confirms. Let's try it out. I got a huge bite here. 
Mmm, very savory. It's so delicious. To my friends back in Minnesota, I can describe exactly how it tastes. It's like taco meat seasoned with these cheap Ortega taco seasoning pouches that cost like three for a dollar. That kind of cumin explosion in there. And then a little bit of horse sausage on the side. Such a nice, unique, mushy texture to it. Cheers. Cheers. She has this huge it's basket of food. Yeah. What kind of food is it? Of food. Oh, oh so she's gonna just us. expose it right now. Let's see it. So we call this honum. So it's like an envelope inside with a with a potato. Oh, <laughs> I guess I just ordered one. I didn't even. Okay, yeah, and I yeah. ordered it's that super too. fast. It's like it's all about food. Like. It's like a giant ravioli. It's a giant ravioli. She wants to give you a fork too. Yeah, Thank bro. you. Uh, she sells this food every day for the last 30 years. No holiday, no offs, every day. Your dry cleaner must hate you though, right? This is a tomato base and you just got, you've got this white towel. She's saying it's very cheap fabric. Yeah. She throws away and keeps you fresh one all the time. Smart. Basically, we've got a giant ravioli with onion and dill on top. Put it inside. This looks tremendous. Let's go for it, man. Whoa, I went through layers of heaven. It's just like a giant ravioli, but then that dill. I like the tomato base best. It's just like, mmm, really nice. It's like savory, a little sweet. The consistency of the outside of this giant ravioli is perfect, like a little chewy. So good, I can stop it. Yeah, buddy, we're getting fat today. Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. Then we came upon something very unique here. It is very unique. We have some chickpeas. It's also an essential part of the cuisine, but this is not what makes it so unique. It makes it unique is the Dumba, and it's a little hardcore Dumba. Other part where the hair grows, they shave it off, and it's the Dumba with the skin. Dumba is this place, yeah, there oh, you go. Oh, this is the Dumba. Oh. If it does make sense. Yeah, it's the skin of the ass. Yeah. Can you show us? Orpa. Yeah. Orpa. That is the skin of the sheep, still very dark. They singe their hair off, and then the fat, huge fat layer all around it. Yeah, that's really unique. This is gonna be so gamey. He just kind of peeling layers of oh fat from this sheep ass. Okay, thanks. You're messing with me, right? No. What do you mean? He didn't, this isn't anything. This is just two huge piles of fat. That's not a dish. He can put some chickpeas, but well, how chickpeas are different. Chickpeas are chickpeas, but this one is something unique we should try. However, I think it's too big. Yeah, let's fork it into okay, let two. Me. Basically what we have here is some boiled sheep ass with some skin. <laughs> I don't like the way it sounds. <laughs> but you love the way it tastes. And yeah. that's why we're here. Let's go for it. Not that bad. It's not bad. Not bad at all. You know, the only issue is it's just so rich. It's like eating a stick of sheep flavored butter. The skin is nice. Mm -hmm. Chewy. Little pieces of this with bread would be it outstanding. Is, it is good. I just need it on some bread. Do you have a piece of bread? Bread is super soft and a bit chewy looking. Oh, that looks nice. I'm gonna cut off that much fat. I'm gonna put it inside the bread. A little mini sheep ass pita pocket. Definitely better with the bread. Mmm, that was outstanding. Sheepy butter, I swear. Next time you have the chance to eat the Dumba of a sheep, do it. You're all pretty sold on this idea. All right, we're good here? We're good. Tashkent boasts a huge variety of Uzbekistan's hearty, heavy, heart-stopping street food. But next week, we're headed to the real food capital, Samarkand, where we'll take on tandoor roasted mountain lamb, homemade samosas, and I attempt to crash a wedding. Be sure to subscribe for more fun food videos. The Uzbek Tourism Board, actually, Ben Cruz reached out to me after seeing my videos, invited our whole team here, and we've been able to document amazing food for you guys to see and maybe visit Uzbekistan in the future one time yourself. Also for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A, A peace. peace. Nailed it.